quick mailbag today. What do we got? First package is a couple of antennas. These are right hand circular polarized 5.8 gigahertz video antennas for my FPV stuff. But look how short these are. Nice little stubby thing. This should work good on my aircraft where um, uh, wind resistance is kind of a important factor. I'm trying to keep them as aerodynamic as possible to keep the cruise amperage nice and low and make batteries last a long time. So that should work good. 433 megahertz telemetry radios. These are for sending data down from my aircraft and my FPV stuff. So uh, this is labeled just air module. These are a little different. These ones have, the last ones were the 3DR. This has a, a ground and an air. The newer ones have, both have a USB connection on them so you can use them uh, either way. So I think these are about 100 milliwatts, 433 megahertz. Just come with some dipole antennas and some wiring. Not much to it. They should work pretty good for sending, uh, sending data down from an aircraft. We'll give them a go. Lots of booble wrap. I haven't even had this out yet. Ah, yes, yes, yes. I like these. I'm very happy these showed up. These are, should be 10 of them, Digispark modules. This is ATtiny85 based microcontroller on a nifty little board that just plugs into your USB port and the driver has a nifty little hack that you don't need USB to serial. It uh, allows this thing to talk to your computer for a short time and then flips over into run mode on the microcontroller. So we have some handy little IOs there. I use these for um, LED strobe lights on my Nano Talon and I'm, I was just amazed with I love the form factor. As long as you don't need serial communication back from the chip, and who really would on uh, on something like an AT Tiny 85 project, this this just does the job. So now we got all kinds of them. Super happy about that. This is a really nifty little board. I'm 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 really liking them for small projects. I think this is going to be my go-to board, and now I have lots of them ready to go at all times. I even set one on my my day-to-day -day board. This is not set up to do anything right now. This is where I'm storing all my microcontrollers and displays and stuff. So when I want to rapidly prototype something, I just pull everything else off that I don't want to use and plug stuff in. And here is one of the Digispark modules. So I keep this on my desk. It makes me more motivated to just grab stuff and test it out when I can just grab it and go. So. Big thanks to PCBWay for sponsoring this episode and making quality PCBs available at reasonable prices. Make sure you check them out for your next electronics project, as well check out their advanced PCB services for more industrial or high precision uses. Check out their shared projects page as well, where you can share your project and earn 10% commission on your first one. Next up, finally got myself a crimper. This is a crimper for doing uh, DuPont style connections. So in theory, this should work for um, servo connections and stuff. I haven't used it yet, so I'm gonna have to check it out. It is just a cheapie. It is not a, a very expensive one, so I'm hoping it works, but we'll see. More tools. These are for my flight bag, I believe. Yes. These are Allen drivers, uh, same ones I already have on the bench right here. And I'm going to use these for my quadcopters, particularly these two right here. Uh, that's the common sizes. They just, they just fit in my hand nicely. They, they've held up well, they're light. I love the size of the knurling on the handle. I love this extra up here where you can sort of roll it with your thumb. I just really love them. They work fantastic. So I'm quite happy with these. So I bought another set. What did we get here? These, I believe, are LC filters. They sure are. This is an LC filter breakout board for 
um, quadcopters for videos, um, for our video circuit, uh, just for power circuit in general to remove noise from the power circuit. So you can see we got a pretty big inductor there and a pretty big 16 volt cap there and some other components on the backside. So pretty handy little complete unit. If you're running into problems on the video uh, with noise on your video, on your quad or your plane, you can just put one of these in line and that should sort it right out. You can also just, it's basically you just hook any buck converter up and just have it buck to the same voltage and you'd be isolating. But these are custom made just for LC filters. We got some nifty little heat sinks. These I think are the ones that are sold for Raspberry Pi. I bought them for various other projects where I need to do some heat dissipation. Um, this would also work on FPV transmitters and stuff uh, to dissipate heat. So just handy to have some small ones. We got some more silicone wire. This looks like, what is it? Around 12 gauge, 14 gauge? 12. 12 AWG. Nice long stretch of both black and red. Good high quality silicone wire. Just just China special. But uh, I need this for wiring up my new planes and stuff. I have some 10 gauge which is brutally heavy stuff but now I have lots of 12 as well. Okay this one is kind of a big one. This one I've been waiting for for a little while. This uh, was slow boated because I picked slow boat shipping from Team Black Sheep. This is my new radio system for my quads as well as my aircraft. This is the TBS long range system and the repair, uh, the modification to do for my QX7 radio. But uh, it's just a module that you plug into the back of, my, of your radio and it uh, does the outputting on I think it's 915 megahertz so for very 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 long range there's the antenna down in the bottom just SMA connections connections so much much farther than the stock FR sky that I'm running now on all my quads and planes so this this will this will reach out there and this will reach out there and go a very very long way and these are the little tiny tiny nano receivers for this setup with a little uh, kind of L antenna 90 degree active and ground element and there you go nothing to it super simple stuff some wires to wire it up but uh, yeah not much to it you can get different different receivers I chose these little tiny guys because they're just fantastic but this will go a bloody long way you can get a larger module than this that goes right up to I believe it's over a watt or more but I chose to go this route because this will go this will go as far as any 5.8 gigahertz video will go which is one heck of a long way when legally line of sight is the is as far as you're supposed to go so that uh, that should do the trick i think i got it was it was a bundle deal where you got uh, four of these nano rx's and the module for a not bad price it's definitely reasonable and then i also ordered this this is the tbs diamond antenna this is for the transmitter as well your ground station your your transmitter that you hold in your hand this is an omni almost perfectly omnidirectional antenna from what what has been tested and proven on these so plug that in and this will give you a great pattern in just about all directions so handy dandy just a nice little add-on the antenna that it comes with in the box would be just fine too but uh, if i was I figured since i was ordering it i might as well get the uh, the diamond antenna too so there we go now i've got enough to switch multiple quads and multiple planes over and i just got to do the mod on my qx7 radio to replace the transistor and then it's uh, capable of talking crossfire so cool stuff 
That's the haul for today, guys. If you like what you see here, click a thumbs up. Check it out. The parts that will be in the description down below. Hit me up on Discord if you like to chat about any of it. I will see you guys next video. Cheers.